Here with head coach Bobby Barbier, the Demons, a 3 nothing win against Eastern Illinois. And coach, we were just talking about that's a scrappy EIU team over there. And with an arm like Will Klein, the Friday night game came a little bit late. But thankfully for the Demons, three early runs. And Logan Hoffman, really, from the fourth inning on, was Logan Hoffman. Yeah, he was phenomenal. He didn't. I thought he competed, but he always competes really hard. But he didn't have his best stuff early. You know, and he fought through it. That's really the first time since he's been on campus where he hadn't had his best stuff. And uh, I was... I told him before the season started that I'm anxious to see how you're going to react when that happens. Um, that, that's the make of a, of a real guy or not, you know, when they can fight through it. You saw him fight through it. I think they got a good team. Uh, I think we've been a good team. We've been a good arm. I mean, that, that guy was up to 98 miles an hour, you know, and, and throwing secondary pitches, too. And I thought we competed really hard. We got Tyler Smith gets the big blow. But, you know, Dante kind of set the tone, you know, out the gate. So we just got to do it again. I told them, I said, the great job today. The worst part about it is it's over, you know, and we got to do it again tomorrow. And we got we to put it behind us and, and get a nap in and, and come out ready to compete. You guys, you talked about it against a guy like Klein. You've got to be on time early and make him change what he wants to do. And I think you did that. Dante's big swing, and then you followed it up. Lenny Cooner had a real quick at bat, but a good productive one early. Yeah, Lenny did a great job there. And that's the thing, you know, we always talk about affecting the guy and making him do something he wants. And the really good ones can do like he did, right? And can, can go ahead and start spinning the breaking ball on the slider for a strike. And and that makes it harder in offense. You can see when he settled in and he had he had he had a slider, the curveball, and the fastball going, it got tough on us. Um, but we did the damage early and, and, and thank goodness we got a guy on the mound that, that's really hard to score off. Defensively was part of that. Cam Sibley has had a little bit of up and down defensive start to his career, but a, a tremendous play and a nice pick by Peyton Davis and just playing a clean game behind Logan. When a guy keeps you engaged like that, yeah, he had 11 strikeouts, but he kept his defense engaged and they answered as well. Yeah, I think that's a good word, engaged. And that guy that works fast, guys that, guy that throws strikes, you know, fills up the strike zone, he's always ahead in the count. Those guys make defenders play better uh, for whatever reason. They don't get bored and sit out there and start thinking about things they shouldn't think about. You know, they stay locked in. So, Cam, Cam's going to be a really good defender for us. I mean, really made a couple of nice plays the last two games um, in the six hole. So very, very proud of those guys. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.